Hey guys, this is an update on my uh, XK Glow Car for Cargo. So basically, the lights do not change anymore. Uh, there's these are the, the kind of lights that you can't bend in a certain way because if you do, then they break and then they don't work. So basically, you know, putting my Instagram, my YouTube, putting all my decal information on top. Also, this cargo comes here out. I cut this off from down here from the barcode that they provided me and uh i went ahead and put the number there so when people are on the passenger side they see this and they see the number right away but anyways i was going to show uh this is the wire back here and you can see how it turns off so as you can see let me turn this around uh it's all like you see how it's all separated with the plastic and when basically it was in the car, it was attached. I had it like super glued, gorilla glued right here on the side, but then that bent it and broke it. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna, and you know, it's, it's fairly easy. Cause you know, it's just the adhesive. But it did last me for a good, uh, it's been about a good year that I've had this in here. But, you know, now it gets it's time to change it. So this is what it is. It's the one with the sealed plastic over it. Um, then, when I have it, it's under USB for your car. So I just use a cigarette lighter uh, adapter that converts it to two of them. Two cigarette lighters are for my car. Do it the other way. Oh, there we go. This one's done. And then this one. So basically, it originally came out of this. Then I had to put electrical tape over this to hold it in. Then I had to uh, glue it in there, and it still didn't work. So there's the Gorilla Glue on the back. Um, so basically, I bought another set of these. And basically, here is the box. LED USB it's the same exact one I think it is uh, I bought this originally from a friend who owns a LED shop so but I was gonna go see him again but he's kind of far away so I thought I'd take a risk and just buy this I think it's the same uh, I just it was really cheap and I bought it from um, on Amazon I can show you the link down below but uh, Here's the packaging. I haven't opened it yet. I just got it today. Almost looks the same, but as you can see, it's a little different, but same look, same mode, same speed, color. So this time, in a sense, I'm going to uh, here on the side here. I have I made a drill hole, so I might just make it a little longer. So that next time that it doesn't bend and break. Uh, so I don't know if this will be long enough. It says, actually it doesn't say. It doesn't say how long it is. I think on Amazon it was like two feet. And that should be fine because one feet is here, one feet is here. Um, and then right here and right here is like another foot. So it's like three foot. All right, I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I removed it from its packaging. It's not really the same lights, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, but you can go through your illuminations of colors. Okay, so I took it out of this packaging, but it's not the same kind of type. As you can see here, you actually see the the lights itself. So there's no uh, covering protecting them. So I don't know how long that's gonna last because like this one here, this has the plastic coating or the silicone coating over it. So it lasts much longer. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna be when it's just the plain electrical. 
so we'll see. Uh, I can always buy another one later. But um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and plug these in through the USB here. I have a wall adapter up here. So then there, I guess, I guess that's like a teal, white, blue, pink, red, white, red, blue. And then what I normally do in the car is that in the car I normally, I may have it like a little medium speed. Let's see what speed there is. And then I put the mode. Uh, that's too flashy. That's, that's as flashy how my car is. Uh, so I don't want it to match that. I want it to be a little simple. Mm, nope. Nope. It may not actually have the mode that I have on my old lights. Oh, wait. Yes. So that's the mode that I had. So it, it uh, changes to each color, um, slowness, brightness, so forth. And then the speed, I have it a little slower. I can't tell. Oops, that's too fast. So kind of like that, but a, just a little slower on the inside. Uh, because you don't want this to be like flashing like crazy. Uh, inside my car, I have... Uh, XK glow lights all over the car on the inside so that flashes but to have this I would like to just slow like a, like a low dimmer it goes on and off on and off with different colors and that's kind of what it's doing now but I would like to try to make it a little slower than this but anyways let me go ahead and put that inside the container and then we'll see where we go from there so what I noticed when I put this in here uh, there's an adhesive here, which I'm probably going to put it like right here, because if I stick this out, it's going to break the connection there. So, on the old one, this connection broke because it's all adhesive here, all the way to here. I didn't use it to the tip, but basically when it was on the inside, and it kept bending, because it was out here, the control panel was out here, uh, it broke it, as you can see, it bent it right there. So, for an example, if I get the connection piece, here's the connection piece, and then here is where it broke. So, here it was here, and then what happened is when it was bent, it was in here and it was bent, uh, it broke it off. Now, I do see on the newer one that it's, there's a additional lead. So I should not technically have a broken light uh, and then go from there. But by looking at them, they're both technically the exact same except one is red and the other one is black with the positive negative and so forth. So we'll see how that works. All right, so now I went ahead and measured it to go all the way around and found that I have an additional where is it? It's going to be an additional of so much to go around. So I might just cut it off here at the point so I can just be just perfect in size. All right, just a second. All right, so you can see I put it all in, adhesive it in. It's nice and tight. It's good. The, the only thing I'm here, I have an extra, one extra LED. I can probably just cut here. Or where is the cutoff point? You gotta cut it off specifically. Oh, so I'm gonna have to cut it off here, so I'm gonna lose two LEDs. All right, well, I just I'm gonna probably leave it in here. But uh, yeah, so right now you can see on this side, the cable just comes out perfectly. It's not torn or bent in any kind of way. And then plus this goes this will go underneath my uh, center console. Underneath the center console, I have a, a cigarette lighter with an anchor um, USB port conversion, and that will fit perfectly. So this will, this extra wiring will just go underneath inside the console. But yeah, it looks like it's much better, uh, much better fit. 
All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm done. I put in the lights. That's great. It's working. This is the box that I bought from Amazon. I'll put it in the link in the description down below if you guys are interested. Uh, then I will tell you how long they will last. But uh, since, as I explained, the cord, the module, remote module is a little bit further than where it was initially right attached to the box, it broke, uh, but it lasts a little longer uh, of a year. So now this is a little bit longer in length. Uh, so I probably have this a little longer for two years. Who knows? Um, this box always stays in the car. I never take it out of the car. So uh, there's really no need for the cable to ever be broken. Um, but on top of that, um, I'm going to go ahead and put like a decal here, like charge up or so forth, because people do not know these, uh, these are chargers. There is a charging port here, but this is version 2 cargo box. Version 2 cargo box. My, my USB ports do not light up, but they do work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I don't know, somewhere in the middle of the summer. Uh, right now it's, uh, what is it? It's, uh, July, August, July, we're in July, 2018. And, uh, since cargo gives you so much stuff, sometimes it's more stuff on the app. And when you visit cargo that menu that you can not even fill it in here. So my next project was going to be um, somehow cut it either here or here and then what I'm going to do I have the old very first version of cargo and I want to dremel it all the way across and then somehow extend it a little further because my center console is from here and then it goes actually up to here so it's a little bit longer uh, yeah this would be more customized fit and so forth but I want to see how that would work. So feel free to watch my next video when I'm going to actually do a Dremel cut. It'll probably take maybe a, a day or so to do that uh, wonderful activity. So there's version one, oops, version two. And then this is my version one of cargo. Um, they never asked for the container back, so, you know, but again, it says in the agreement, if you keep the box, you're going to have to pay for it. Uh, I don't care. I'll pay for it anyways. Uh, I don't know where to get another box like this. If I could, then I'll probably get two or three to customize everything I want or probably put two cargo boxes in the car. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, this is my old one. You see how I use labels and so forth. Uh, I bought a decal machine, so now I make my own decals uh, with the YouTube, Instagram, and so forth. So my thought was to do this. I'll do a little. So basically, that's where it is. And then I want to kind of extend it to here. So that means I'm going to probably have to cut it somewhere here, I guess. No. I'm gonna have to cut it somewhere here so that it can extend further. I don't know, I have to figure it out. Because, well, if I do it from here, then it gives me this gap. So that should be enough. But since I only have one more box, I can only try it one way and see what happens. All right, well, thanks for watching my video of the cargo box. Feel free to sign up, I'll send a I'll put a referral link down below if you guys want to get into your cargoes and uh, start selling these in your car. You definitely make a good 300 bucks or more, depending on how great of a seller you are. Uh, but also what I do is <clears throat> people look at it and I say, oh, it's a vending machine. They're like, what? And then that's the pickup starter. And then for the pickup starter from the vending machine, then you talk about it. You tell them what's free for the weekend or the week or so forth. And, and I tell them straight out that you do not need, they do not need your your phone number, your email, your your whatever information, just to get the free ones. Just snap, snap, and then you're in. Uh, then I get a text and et cetera, et cetera, and then they're all excited about it. Uh, then sometimes they even, even buy the other products and go from there. All right, well, thanks for visiting my channel for the XK Glow, uh, and iOS Genius is also my channel. Uh, I don't want to be making multiple different channels. I was thinking about that at first, but I just do it all in one so everybody knows what's going on. All right.
Have a great time. Make some money. See ya. Feel free to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated.